welcome to my opinion here on my opinion tv don't forget to like share subscribe click the notification bell so as soon as a video is released you'll be one of the first to be notified upon the hearing of my voice this morning we have so much to give god thanks for so many people went to bed last night with the dreams and aspiration of getting up this morning and are not numbered among the living. So whatever your situation, whatever your circumstances might be, as long as you're alive, you have much to give God thanks for. And don't forget you can join our WhatsApp group at 876-892-2079. That's 876-892-2079. That's where we put our exclusive pictures. That's where we have our own discussion. And that's where we put our exclusive videos that we can show here on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like the content, subscribe to it. Help this channel grow as we try to elevate and try to highlight certain issues in Jamaica. As we all seek to have a better and safer Jamaica. This morning, we want to bring into focus the issue of a five-year-old girl who was on a mission with her, her mother to the United States via the illegal route and end up missing. And according to the Gleaner, five-year-old Malaysia Million Miller, who got separated from her mother at the United States-Mexico border on Sunday is still not accounted for, contrary to earlier reports. Jamaica Consul General to Miami, Oliver Mayer, had confirmed that the young Jamaican was back with her mother, Teresa Wilson, today after speaking with representatives from the U.S. Immigration and Custom Enforcement Agency. Now, but it appears Malaysia had not been, had been confused with Wilson's other daughter, an eight-month-old infant. It was also indicated that Wilson, who left Jamaica on May 25th, was placed in detention in Arizona on Sunday, was released today. Malaysia reportedly got separated as her mother sought to enter the U.S. through a human smuggling scheme that took the family through Panama and Mexico. The consulate in Miami and Jamaica diplomatic representatives in Mexico are now trying to ascertain the child's whereabouts. Now, this is unfortunate. This is really unfortunate. And if you know the backstory behind this, then you would really look into this. Because based on what I read, they said that her brother, who was a former DJ, was killed. And she and her kids don't feel safe because they were shot, they were shot after while in Jamaica. But, you know, people do make up stories to get sympathy when things like these happen. We all understand everybody wants a better life for themselves and their kids. It's just a plain reality. Am I condemning her for trying? Absolutely no. Am I bashing her based on her actions? Absolutely not. She's trying for a better life for herself and her kids. Even though if you all know about the U.S. immigration policy, it would be extremely difficult for her. To be legal in America based on the fact that she crossed the border. It is more difficult when you enter the United States illegally. However, nothing is worth it, it, it is worthwhile trying if you are determined to make good of your life. And if her story is true about living in fear, then when your life is at risk, you have to do what's best for you. You would not want gunmen to come at your house and take you out and your kids or take you out and leave your kids. Because uh, most of the time, these killers, they don't care. They'll kill you in front of your kids. We hope that young Malaysia will be, re will be found and will be connected with her mother. I hope nothing untoward happened to this child. I pray that God will deliver this child and this child will be reunited with her mother. I have a strong sense of feeling that she will be found. I hope nothing untoward happen. And, you know, for some of you bashing the lady, you, if, if her shoes are on your feet, then you'd probably make the same decision. If your back was against the wall like this lady, you probably would have made the right decision. And I'm saying this, 
because I'm saying if her story is true, then you'll all understand. If not, then we can all have a different take on this. But we hope she will be located and we hope she will be found soon. The other news we want to talk about is a follow-up to the incident where three gunmen died in a crash in Hanover, which is one of the best news I've heard for the start of the year. It's sad to say best news based on the fact that persons lost their lives. But knowing the fact that these were killers, we have absolutely no sympathy over here with them. And if you want to see a copy of the, the video of this crash, you can join our WhatsApp group and the video is all over there. The police have now identified the three gunmen who were killed in Sunday's crash along Barbican Main Road in Hanover. This is according to the Gleaner. They are 27-year-old Jermaine Scott, unemployed of Pit 4, St. James. Courtney Lazarus, 27, otherwise called Lays of Salt Spring, St. James. 17-year-old Jade Jade Javed Reed, 27, otherwise called Javi, of King Street in Hanover. It is reported that around midday, Reed, Lazarus and Scott were traveling in a silver Nissan Latino motor car from the direction of Montego Bay towards Lucy. On reaching a section of Barbican Road, they reportedly received news that a police spot check was being conducted along Mosquito Grove Main Road. It is reported that the driver quickly turned around and the vehicle sped back in the direction of Sandy Bay. We all, I'm not going to read all our story. We all know that the vehicle crashed into a Juta tour bus and passengers were injured but these men never made it weapons were also found i think it was two guns was found on the scene and if as i said if you want to see the video join our whatsapp group you'll see even the gun on the street but this is very good news you see all these men in the prime of their lives and all they can do is get themselves in badness we are hearing from other vloggers on the street that these men were associated to music producer who is in custody right now. So if any, if there's any truth to that, I guess the police will be linking and putting all the, the, uh, the I's and the T's, cross the T's to prove whatever case they have against the producer. But it's good news this morning that these men are no longer in the land of the living based on their atrocities they commit and time catch up with them not in the way some people might have liked but in another way our final bit of news is one that i just can't wrap my head about i can't wrap my head around this one and people will continue to tell you jamaica is not a real place listen to this millions stolen from beryllium couriers otherwise called guardsmen Investigators are probing $2 million robberies as many days in East Kingston and St. Mary Division. In the latest incident, detectives are probing a daring multi-million daylight robbery of Beryllium Limited Courier vehicle that reportedly had mechanical difficulties while traversing through Rollington on Wednesday. On Monday, approximately $8 million was stolen from a Western Union outlet in Araka Bay, St. Mary. Now, according the incident that happened on Rollington, in Rollington Town, sometime after 12 Wednesday, the guards were reportedly pounced upon by men traveling in a motor car while attending to a defective Toyota Pro Box motor vehicle. More than 20 million was stolen. Listen, I'm not going through all the details. You can read the story on the Jamaica Gleaner. But based on what we heard, one gunman, that's what I heard, one gunman held up this vehicle and robbed it of $20 million. None of the guards were harmed. I don't know of people carrying so much money, especially for a big, reputable company like this, and they don't have armed guards. This just seems fishy to me. This just seems to me like this is a big, grand setup. And we all know, once the detectives start probe and investigate, more than likely, you see that this was inside connection. And this was well planned by even the, the guards that were there or somebody else. But let's wait and see what will happen. Let's wait and see 
what will come out of these investigations. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to join us on our WhatsApp group. We can have our own discussion over there. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. So as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. Until next time, look out for a neighbor, look out for a loved one, look out for the children. And most of all, keep it locked. My Opinion TV.